Hello friends, uh, today I'll discuss about impact of uh, different transformer capacity having different percentage impedance running under parallel operation in a substation. So basically in this video, I'll discuss about three, three number of transformer having different percentage impedance running under parallel op operation. So the capacity of the three number of transformer are different so what will be the load sharing and what is the maximum capacity can be utilized of this three number of transformer now let us consider the example that is three number of transformer operating uh, 132 by 33 kb so each side of each transformer voltage is 132 kb and lb side voltage is 33 kb the lb side and lb side voltage may be different but uh, the matter is the capacity that is the MVA capacity for transformer one MVA capacity is 31.5 MVA and percentage impedance is 10 percent and for transformer two MVA capacity is 50 MVA with percentage impedance 11 percent and for transformer number three MVA capacity is 50 MVA and PI is 12 percent so in this video i'll discuss about what will be the maximum load capacity can be utilized out of this three number of transformer since the capacity of uh, transformer 1 2 and 3 are 31.5 mba 50 mba and 50 mba respectively total capacity of the substation is 131.5 mba now under uh, parallel operation of the transformer load sharing will be governed by the capacity of the transformer in terms of mba and the percentage impedance now load sharing of the transformer is the proportional to the uh, mba capacity or kva capacity of their uh, transformer and it will be inversely proportional to their percentage impedance of the transformer so load sharing of the transformer running under parallel condition is given by the pi is equal to pt divided by summation of i is equal to 1 to 3 pi divided by percentage impedance into pi by zi here pt is the total load of the substation in this case pt is equal to 131.5 mba and pi is the uh, load shared by the ith transformer so we can calculate under this condition what will be the load will be shared by the t1 t2 and t3 respectively and now we will calculate the first the value of summation i is summation i is equal to 1 to 3 pi by percentage impedance so for transformer number one uh, capacity is 31.5 and percentage impedance is 10 percent that is 0.1 so it is 31.5 divided by 0.1 for t2 it will be 50 divided by 0.11 and for t3 it will be 50 divided by 0.12 so summation of pi is equal to 1 2 3 uh, pi divided by percentage impedance comes as 1186.22 so we can calculate the load shared by transformer number one under maximum capacity of the substation that is 131.5 mba so p1 is equal to 131 divided by 1186.22 that is the summation of i is equal to 1 to 3 pi divided by percentage impedance that is a zi percent so this is the value of the summation of i is equal to 1 to 3 pi by zi percentage and pt is equal to 131.5 into pi by zi here for t1 it is 31.5 divided by 0.1 so p1 comes as 34.92 mva but the maximum capacity of t1 is equal to 31.5 mva so it will be running under overload condition and overload is 111 percent 
similarly you can calculate uh, load shared by the transformer 2 under maximum capacity so p2 that is the load shared by the transformer 2 is equal to total capacity of the substation that is 131.5 divided by summation of i is equal to 1 to 3 pi by zi percentage which is 1186.22 into pi by zi here it is p2 by z2 p2 is equal to 50 and z2 is equal to 11 percent that is 0.11 so p2 comes as 50.39 mba since the maximum capacity of t2 is 50 mba so it will be slightly overloaded similarly we can calculate the load shared by t3 under maximum capacity that is p3 is equal to 131.5 divided by 1186.22 into 50 divided by percentage impedance of t3 that is 0.12 so it comes as 46.19 mba so it will be under 92.4 percent of the full load capacity so transformer one will be overload and overload will be 111 percent t2 will be slightly overloaded and t3 will be underloaded condition under maximum capacity of the substation so under maximum capacity load shared by p1 or t1 is equal to 34.92 mba and t2 will be 50.39 mba and t3 will be 50 46.19 mba now consider that uh, no transformer shall be overloaded so p1 knew that is the maximum capacity of the transformer uh, is 31.5 mba that is the shared load under maximum capacity condition of the substation so we can recalculate the load shared by transformer 2 and transformer 3 under uh, the condition that no transformer will be overloaded condition so it can be calculated by the formula p1 nu divided by p1 is equal to p2 nu divided by p2 is equal to p3 nu by p3 here p1 nu is the uh, transformer capacity under condition that it will be running under maximum capacity and it will not be under overloaded condition and p1 is p1 p2 p3 is the load shared uh, under maximum capacity of the substation that is already calculated that is p1 is equal to 34.92 p2 is equal to 50.39 and p3 is equal to 46.19 mba so we can get the value of the p2 nu and p3 nu so we can calculate uh, p2 nu from the formula that p1 nu divided by p1 is equal to p2 nu divided by p2 since p1 nu is equal to 31.5 mba we can get the value of the p2 nu is equal to 31.5 divided by p1 that is 34.92 into p2 that is 50.39 so p2 nu is equal to 45.45 mba similarly from the formula p1 nu divided by p1 is equal to p3 nu divided by p3 we can get the new value of the p3 that is equal to 31.5 divided by 34.92 into 46.19 that is the value of the p3 so now new value of the p3 comes as 41.67 mba so considering that no transformer shall be overloaded running under parallel condition the new capacity of the substation comes as 31.5 plus 45.5 45 plus 41.67 that is equal to 180.62 mba so that uh, out of total capacity 131.5 MBA, we can utilize 118.62 MBA capacity since no such transformer running under parallel condition. So, since the percentage impedance of the transformer are different, we can utilize only 
118.62 MVA capacity out of 131.5 MVA capacity of the substation.